at times you find that you have some sort of dealings with somebody who you may not see eye to eye on. So for example, they may be a non-Muslim, they may be from the Muslims, however, they are not that practicing, not that pious. In this situation, you've got to stick to your principles because at times it happens where you have to interact with them. That's why we come to the next story. Allah Jalla wa ala makes mention of two men. Allah says, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الرَّجُلَيْنِ جَعَلْنَا لِأَحَدِهِمَا جَنَّتَيْنِ مِنْ أَعْنَابٍ وَحَفَفْنَاهُمَا بِنَخْلٍ وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمَا زَرْعًا One of them, we gave him gardens, we gave him wealth, we gave him crops and his garden would give its fruit in full. كِلْتَ الْجَنَّتَيْنِ آتَتْ أُكُلَهَا وَلَمْ تَظْلِمْ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا وَفَجَّرْنَا خِلَالَهُمَا نَهَرًا So, this man who had a lot of wealth, he had gardens, he had fruit, he had everything. What does he say? One day he says, فَقَالَ لِصَاحِبِهِ وَهُوَ يُحَاوِرُهُ أَنَا أَكْثَرُ مِنْكَ مَالًا وَأَعَزُّ نَفَرًا You know what? He tells his companion, who was a pious person, he says, I have more wealth than you. I have a lot more than you. And in the verses coming after, he tells him, Ma أَظُنُّ أَن تَبِيدَ هَذِهِ أَبَدًا I don't think I'll ever lose this wealth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is informing us. He's telling us that this man who became arrogant, he actually had a companion who was pious. And this pious person told him, don't become arrogant and don't become haughty. And this is the job or this is our job, you find that you accompany somebody. And for example, they want to miss their salah. They don't want to do good deeds. They want to carry out that which is evil. Your job in this position is to advise them, to give them the best of advice. Perform your salah. Be from those who are truthful. Do not do that which is evil. Because at the end of the day, if you don't, you will find yourself leaning towards this mischief and this evil doing.